He is more than a prophet. <laughs> so I don't mean to be mean to anyone or sound mean to anyone if it comes across that way. I'm, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I only am trying to put people on the right path and point them to the right path so they, so they can be saved. <clears throat> anyway, the parable of the wedding banquet. 22. Chapter 22. Uh, I don't need to tell you. Anyway, Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet to tell them to come, but they refused to come. Then he sent some more servants and said, Tell those who have been involved that I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, my fattened cattle, and have been, no, my fattened cattle have been butchered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. Now this is a great insult not to come. No, really, it is. Do not come to someone's wedding banquet or feast when you're invited to party back in those days. That's a grave insult. Pick his worse. But they paid no attention and went off, to one to his field, another to his business. So they don't even care. The rest seized his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his army and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Hmm. Army. And burned their city. What happened to Jerusalem? And Samaria. Well, that's not only Jerusalem. <laughs> yeah. Then he said to his servants, I'm helping you love understanding the parable. <clears throat> but let's see if you can come to the complete understanding by yourself. The wedding banquet is ready, but those I have invited did not deserve to come. So go to the street corners and invite to the banquet, anyone you find. <clears throat> See? Anyone. <clears throat> so the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find, the bad as well as the good, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guest, he noticed a man there who was not wearing wedding clothes he asked how did you get in here without wedding clothes friend the man was speechless <clears throat> the king then the king told the attendants tie him hand and foot and throw him outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gashing of teeth, for many are invited, but few are chosen. <clears throat> yes, there's commentaries about this, probably even ones why wisest doesn't support Calvinism. I think maybe by Mike Winger, I'm not quite sure. Enough to. Anyway. <clears throat> 